Sup guys, you're here with the bloody undead bride Sue Young and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I'm so excited to be here with the undead bride, Sue Young. Sup guys. How are you? I'm tired. Yeah, it's been a long weekend. Mm -hmm. Really fun weekend, though. I heard your weekend's pretty cool, too. It's been fantastic. Yeah. It's even better now. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. We've been DMing each other, trying to set this up, and finally, paths have crossed. You know, I've never done like any like online stuff like that, but I like assume that's kind of like what Tinder's like or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad you have uh, opened your mind to, to how that might have been. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you mentioned, it's been a super busy weekend as we are here at Rise and Shimmer for three full days. You had some insanely intense matches, so just how are you feeling about the whole experience? Well, I haven't... <laughs> I'm just trying to go here. I can hold before, I, yeah. I haven't been, like, back in Shimmer in a while, and I, I did AW and IWA Mid-South, and um, it's it's been really cool. Like, the fans have been very supportive and very um amazing and you know that's pretty much why we do this is for the fans and for our passion and love for it so yeah. love all around and also you know my boo came back so <laughs> pretty happy about that it's been a very exciting weekend for wrestling oh that's awesome yeah well something else that i found was hilarious was when you actually came in on the friday night you were telling me about how your hotel room did not have disney channels and said you ended up marathoning star wars yes so are you a huge Star Wars fan? Is that what it comes down to? Or is that just kind of a, a necessity? It's like, oh, that's what's on. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, when I was in high school, I photoshopped myself as a Twi'lek. So I don't know. <laughs> if you know Star Wars, you'll know what that is. But, like, yeah, I was, like, an evil one with red and stuff. I was like, that would, that, that's what I would be. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was really sad because I really wanted to watch Disney. But mm -hmm. Star Wars is very close. I mean, Star Wars is now with Disney, so it should right? should give you a little bit, you know. You're close. Yeah, close, close to home. <laughs> and you're a big Disney fan then, wanting to watch Disney Channel? Like, what were you, what were you trying to find on there? Anything Disney. Like, yeah? I just love Disney Channel. I don't know. Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network are, like, my go-tos because, like, that's just what I grew up other than with wrestling that, yeah. you know. Cereal in the morning or at night, just watching that. It's just comfort for me. So it's a bit of nostalgia for you. Yeah. Okay. We we brought up uh, at AAW, um, me and one of the boys were talking about, because they had that multi-man that was really crazy, and we are like, talking about Kim Possible. I would just swing in as <gasps> Kim Possible. Possible. Yes. <laughs> and then they were talking about how if we had a Rufus, and I was like, there should be hologram Rufus oh my in a gosh. match where they try and catch hologram Rufus. Yeah. As like, I, show was, you know, like a Snapchat really good. app, whatever it is, yeah. like, that'd be sweet. A filter. <laughs> yeah, Snapchat filter of Hologram Rufus. Uh, well, a few weeks ago, I was watching Impact Wrestling, and then all of a sudden, bam, Sue Young debuts, and it was absolutely amazing. I, I, I freaked out. It was such a <laughs> cool moment. As soon as I saw you after, I was like, this is amazing. I even tweeted you, and I was like, yes, finally. So, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I favored and liked it and everything. Yes, I saw the region come through. I was like, mm -hmm. this is such a good moment. So for you, debuting there... What, what's the experience been like? Legitimately, debuting at Impact is a dream come true for me because, like, when I first started wrestling, the first pay-per-view that I saw, because, like, the first pay-per-view I saw when I was a kid was my first ever live wrestling show, which was WrestleMania 19 in Seattle. So, like, you can't really top that. Yeah. But watching Slammiversary live in Nashville, like, um, it was Jeff Jarrett versus Sting, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm in love. And Gail Kim was there, and I was like... <gasps> I love Gail Kim so much, and the fact that, like, she's there, like, all my idols are all there. In one spot. Yeah, like, from ECW, WWF, WWE days, WCW, like, all the way to, like, current TNA stuff. I'm just like, whoa, and now we're <laughs> Impact? It's like, wow, like, I can't even describe being there along with, like, all my favorite people in the world. Like, all my friends are there. Like, Diamante and I are, like, really good friends That's and I'm awesome. like dang like we both look <laughs> at each other going do you remember when we wrestled in a bar and you stunnered me on like a table in the bar to like you're now in LAX and now I'm on impact as the undead bride and yeah. it's like whoa oh my god yeah yeah it pretty cool so fulfilling it's crazy yeah it's a really crazy time I I'm just really lucky that you know this is even happening like I never would have thought never would have thought but I feel very blessed, you know? Well, I love seeing you come out to the ring because you're just absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not just coming out, just in the ring too. Like, you're absolutely fearless. I don't know what you're going to do, and when you do it, I'm, I'm always shocked. <laughs> I am too, <Yeah>? so... <laughs> 
<laughs> I never know what I'm going to do. It just happens it just, sometimes. Yeah, we were kind of talking about that before the camera started rolling. Is it just one of those things where you don't know what the spot's going to be and you're like, all right, top rope, I'm going to flip into five girls and that's that. It, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it just happens. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy because I never really know what's going to happen. And I just, like, I have a game plan, but with my life and wrestling mm -hmm. game plans don't always happen the way yeah. they want it to be so it's just like random stuff like I wasn't expecting to choke slam Shotzi off the top but I did and <laughs> it just happened it. I was like oh <laughs> well, fans, you, you know right I think the fans liked it um, I hope they, they did. loved it <laughs> are you kidding I think they liked it this place was just screaming like they loved it hey <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> well, you were a host for Smart Asses Radio. Yeah. And they talk about all things that are pretty, that's pretty geeky, which is, I absolutely love about it. Yes. <laughs> so do you say that you're a fairly big geek when it comes to certain things that you like? Um, I don't like to let it know, be known because not a lot of people know about me, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge nerd geek. Like, okay. Yeah, I probably not as big as Leva because Leva's like a know-all of know-all. Like, she's like the, yeah. the wizard. It's impressive. It's so impressive, but... Yeah, I'm pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself some credit. I think the fans liked it. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just a chill You're so world. humble. I, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is maybe your nerdiest quality? You, we're talking about Star Wars earlier, and I mean that in a very endearing way, because I'm also a fellow nerd. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, I really love video games. I, okay. It's like a daily life thing. Like, me and my husband will... Uh, be at home and we'll be playing like whether it be like on N64 to like Super Nintendo to PlayStation 4 to like Xbox and stuff random wrestling video games all around it's just like ah. <laughs> like the moment like he got into a video game it was like oh my god and I don't even know how I would feel if I was in a video game like that I would have been like ah. <laughs> so yeah I've been just like freaking out. Aww. So is that one of your go-tos? Then when you and him are just hanging out, like you'll just video games, relax, video games and pizza. Out. Video games and pizza. Yeah. That's awesome. And then if if like we're all video gamed out, we're just like, oh, we're just like mentally checked out. We'll put on like death matches or like random wrestling. A lot of like Japanese death match stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah. It, and then just fall asleep, take a nap. Wake up, do it all over again. Do it all over again. Yeah, just That's it's awesome. just wrestling all the time. Yeah, like, not bad though. I love it. <laughs> well, upstairs, not too long ago, I was chatting with Nicole Savoy, and that is after you sprayed her with the red mist, and she still had it all over her face. <laughs> She's like, I've tried to scrub this off, and I just can't get it. Uh, so for you, it's in your mouth. It's all over you. Like, is it something that is kind of difficult to get off? Because you use it all of the time. Uh, it's not so difficult for me. I just say like, the more tainted you are in life, the harder it is to get off. Wait, don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But uh, for me, like, I'm just scared to go to the doctors because they're going to be like, what is wrong with you? I'll be like, I've been trying to figure that out, like, this whole time. I was wondering if you could help me out with that. But, <laughs> you know, just doing the thing. Doing the thing. I'm doing the thing. Well, here on the site, we not only interview wrestlers, but also musicians. So if you could hang out with a band or an artist for a day, which would that be? Well, it would be in bad taste because uh, <laughs> they are not alive. But if they were alive, I'd love to hang out with like Nirvana. Okay. But uh, cool. I love the Deftones. Yeah. Yeah, they're phenomenal. And I love like Paramore a lot. I love... Um, uh, Silver Sun Pickups, I think they're rad. I think uh, Foo Fighters are amazing. You know, I, there's a lot of bands that I like. Um, if one was like, that would like make me all jittery and crazy. Like, it would jittery? be like <laughs> disturbed because of like all the yes. all the music that they put on like in my childhood. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been like. Oh. And it would go so well with like just your character in general. Oh you yeah. Coming out to fun. something like that because what you come out to now, it's so creepy. Like it's perfect. I, I don't know if I could, I, I saw Guar live. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd, I, I feel like I, we would all fit in well, but I, they like, <laughs> the last time I saw him, they came out with Barack Obama's head and then they beheaded him. Mm. And I was like, oh, oh no. 
I saw him with like Jessica Havoc and a couple of other girls when we were all doing Shine, like okay. a throwback. Yeah. And it was like a crazy time. Allison Kay was not having it. She was like, this is the <laughs> she devil. She told me this story. And oh! I actually have a photograph of some of the girls and like their shirts were all mm-hmm. red. I was in one and, of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a throwback to Shine. None of them knew what we were getting into. And I was like, oh, Gwar's playing. Let's, let's go yeah. see Gwar. And it was like, oh! I was like, get in the pit. None of us wanted to because we just got done wrestling. So yeah. it was just like, oh, but yeah, that's cool. Do you try to go to live concerts pretty often? Yeah, as much as possible. Okay. I love, well, I mean, like my husband's a musician himself, so he plays live all the time. And like anytime I get to see live music, it's so inspiring to me because I used to play music too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to play the saxophone. Okay. I was in the marching band. I did not know that. Yeah, we won a medal the first year when I was in it. It Seriously? was really, really cool. Yeah, That's awesome. and I won some medals in jazz. Like oh my I gosh. love jazz. Music. So you were like, you were good. I was, I was pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, I was a kid. Like, how good could you really be? Like, good enough to get medals. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But um, New Orleans was pretty sweet. Yeah. Hearing all the jazz music going down there. So. Oh my gosh! Did you get to experience like Bourbon Street and stuff? And oh yeah. yeah. Well, like one of the trips that we did in high school when I was playing music was we went to New York. And that was when, uh, like, uh, Ground Zero was the thing. So, like, we played on the pier, and we went to go see Ground Zero. That's and we really saw, cool. Yeah, and, like, it's crazy how, like, a lot of the passions have taken me different places. Mm-hmm. Now I wrestle in New York, so I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> You're excited? Yeah. Like, jittery? I, I love it. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Most people don't expect this from me, so it's just, this is just how I am. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love how we're kind of peeling things back and just learning more. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, like, uh, like, well, when they first meet me, they're like, whoa, what is wrong with her? What is going on? Cause do they think you're just quiet. crazy? I think so. Yeah? I, I don't know. I don't really ask around because I'm just like, hey, do you think I'm crazy? Like, <laughs> nice to meet you. Do you yeah. think I'm a psycho? <laughs> yeah. But, like, once they, like, actually get to talk to me and stuff, they're like, oh, snap, she's actually a person. Yeah. Like, she's really cool. Like, it's kind of like meeting one of your favorite wrestlers and then finding out, like, oh, my God. Like, when I uh, met Sandman, I was so terrified. But then when he was, like, talking and he was, like, going into his passions and his love, I was like, yeah. oh, you're my idol. Oh. You're so sick. Oh, my gosh. So good. Yeah. It was like when I interviewed Jake the Snake on the show. It's like he's oh. known for being so stern and intense. And then he's just such a sweet guy. We talked about barbecue and his, like, granddaughter. And it yes. was just, it's so cool when you get to meet someone and they're they're not the, the character, even though their character's super cool. It's yeah. Like, they're just yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And, like, the fact that fans still come to the shows and, like, support it, that's, mm-hmm. like, the coolest thing to me. Oh, my gosh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, just speaking to the fans, there are a bunch of fans waiting for you downstairs as tonight's Shimmer Show, I think, just finished. Yes. So... To wrap things up, is there anything you would like to say to the fans who will be viewing before you go and visit all the fans downstairs? Um, come and support the shows. Like the biggest thing you can do for a lot of the wrestlers, including your favorites or someone on the rise, is just come to the shows and support. Yeah. And that's what keeps us going, like on the independent route. And you know, you never know where your favorite wrestler is going to lead to. It could be a major place, it could be overseas, it could be anywhere. But like people coming out and supporting us live. I mean, social media is great and all. I'm not really like a social media person <laughs> that much, but seeing people come to the shows live like means the world. So if you ever do like, and you really want to say something to your favorite wrestler, just go up to them, just say whatever's in your heart, like whatever you feel, because it means the world to us too. You know, we we travel the world and we travel around, and the biggest support is you guys. So thank you. I want to thank you for for doing this. I'm so excited to have you on. Oh, man, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. So, awesome. Yeah, I've seen you interview all my friends, and I'm like, <laughs> I wonder when I'm going to get interviewed. This is going to be sweet. Oh, well, today's the day. Oh. <laughs> Bring it in. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, no problem, thank dude. You. Thank you, man. It was my pleasure. And remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at alishatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya.